Hello. Welcome to the new vlog of the week, a work week in my life. I'm on my lunch break. I didn't get to vlog this morning because I was in a rush. I told myself I'm gonna get up early and journal, but I honestly was so tired on Saturday. My neighbors did not let me sleep. They were up till literally 5 a.m. 5 singing karaoke, singing their little hearts out. So all of yesterday I felt super sleepy. And this morning it just really hit me and I was not able to get up um, in the morning in general, but I'm in my car. I made myself a really big protein smoothie, like protein smoothie with like coffee and banana and almond butter. So I'm like still pretty full, but I know that I need to eat lunch right now because I have meetings after this and I'm going to be able to eat until like the after, like after work probably if I don't eat <laughs> right now. But I also want to journal. I want to read my book and look at my planner because I look at my planner every single day and just kind of check off what I'm doing for that day but yeah two vlogs are now up on my channel and I hope you're liking them I am really happy to be vlogging like I said there's somebody right there and I'm telling myself <laughs> it's actually the one year anniversary of my newsletter if you're signed up for my newsletter, you get uh, weekly emails from me with quotes, affirmations, journal prompts, vibe of the week, where I pull cards for the week, and I give you kind of like the energy of the weekend, kind of something for you to think about as you go about your week. I share all the links possible on there. I share like little insights, and I always try to share like any anything that you guys want to share, like um, quotes. Or like your personal reflections you also get a sneak peek to my blog which i uploaded a blog post on saturday um on things i wish i knew before moving into my first solo apartment so that one was a good one and yeah that's i'm so happy that it is now a year i dedicate a lot of time to writing those newsletters on my weekend and i just find it so fun I'm gonna move because this place has a lot more activity than I thought it would have. I'm also debating whether I want a coffee or not because I did have a protein coffee this morning, but girl, I feel like I need another one today. This is my lunch that I'm eating in my car. It's half of that Caesar salad from the Costco haul I did yesterday. <laughs> that you should save your rice water um, so that you can use it on your hair because apparently it makes your hair grow so I'm gonna try it because why not I have some so I'm just gonna save it for next time um, that I wash my hair and we'll see if it actually works or not beauty and health tips with beauty we sat down for dinner are you excited no. Okay, yes. <laughs> Vidi gave me Gary's food from the can. No me le echo un poquito little sauce on top para que se vea bonito, pero escurrió. Yeah. Is it salmon or salmon? Salmon. This is what it is, and this is my plate. First impressions. <clears throat> okay, tastes good. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like next time we should like season it. <laughs> okay. No, but it tastes good for okay. real. What about the rice? What about the rice? Good. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Yo, my outfit of the day. Just some light makeup. 
a t-shirt and these Zara pants. I have to head out already because again, once again, chose to sleep in a little bit more other than wake up early, early, early. But it's okay, we're trying every single day. My goal is to be 1% better every single day and I got up earlier, but I still chose to slay, slay in bed. Um, yeah, I'm leaving now. I'm so sleepy. I think I'm gonna have to stop by for a coffee. But I came to HEV to buy some essentials that we were needing. Hello, I just got home finally. It is so hot outside and I saw <laughs> I stopped for a coffee at Fork to Fit. I really like their coffee whenever I don't want something like super strong, whenever I just need a little bit to pick me up and I definitely needed it today. So I got myself a little coffee, caramel, straight up iced coffee. And I stopped by it should be really quick just to pick up some essentials. I'm not gonna be here this weekend, so I didn't wanna pick up too much, but I bought things that we'll, we'll probably get through in the next few days. I got some green beans, cause for some reason I was really craving them. Um, my mom made them once and I'm gonna make them maybe tonight. I don't know, they just sounded good. And then I restocked on our sriracha and sriracha mayo because we finished the sriracha mayo yesterday when we ate the salmon bowls. I got my favorite soup. Um, this soup is so good. And it has bone broth. I've been trying to get myself to eat, drink more bone broth because it helps with your gut. So this soup makes it really easy because it's chicken noodle. It's like a comforting soup and I eat it with lime and hot sauce and it tastes so good and i feel like it's one of those easy meals because it fills you up enough like that you won't be hungry anymore and sometimes i'll split it up with alex and we'll make like, make like sandwiches on the side but this is really good and yeah it has like all good ingredients so i also got my favorite salad this is the hb cracked pepper salad this salad is so good we actually went to alex's little cousin's baptism and um we had like a fancy dinner that was made and then they used the salad and i've been using the salad for like over a year it's so good as a side salad as a full salad it's super filling the croutons are good the dressing is so good like 10 out of 10 i recommend i like this one and the cilantro lime one too and then speaking of salads these are alex's favorite salad so I got it for him so that he can eat for lunch tomorrow and yeah they're five bucks they're super filling I got him one I got myself one and yeah I mean they're they're great they're a great lunch option if you don't know what to eat for lunch and you want something um high protein it's 21 grams of protein and it has lots of veggies in it so it's a really good option and then salmon patties we love these um i don't eat it with the patty with like the bun i just eat the patty um and i'll have like a side of edamame or a side of sweet potato fries and it's so good in college <laughs> struggle meals i used to cut these up into like little pieces and then throw them in my salads and that's what i used to eat in college so yeah my favorite yogurts are the greek vanilla yogurts um I'm not like a super yogurt fan, so these, but these are super, super good with some granola. Um, yeah, but I, I just don't, I'm not a big fan of oatmeal or yogurt in the morning, but if I'm eating a yogurt, it's probably this one. If not this one, this is Alex's favorite. It's a Greek God's yogurt. This one's super good. It tastes exactly like Danonino, if you know, you know, but it's Greek. And so it's really good. I just, for convenience i get these little pre-packaged ones but they also have these in a bigger size but it's just easier for me to grab and get them in the morning i got some jalapenos and 
and I got another yogurt, so I got two of them. I usually only get like two at a time because only if I'm like, don't have anything to eat will I take a yogurt. And these chips, these Susalita chips, they're so spicy and they're really good and I don't think... These do not have red 40. So if you're looking for a chip that doesn't have red 40, that's really spicy and really good, um, you should go ahead and try these. They're baked too, I think. And it's, it has a lot of, it has cactus as a second ingredient. So I think these are a better option. They didn't have the siete chips, so I was gonna go and get those, but um, if I'm not wanting to eat hot Cheetos or Takis or anything like that, if I'm looking for a better option, I usually get these. Um, I usually get the Siete chips, but if not, I, I get these. And they're, they're so spicy, so these are like the only spicy chips. And then, last but not least, it's an obsession in this household. Thanks to my friend Cassie, she put this on. And Alex and I literally fight over finishing this. I've never been a soda, well, not never, but I didn't drink soda for <laughs> so many years, like Coke or Sprite. Like since I was little, I was I would never like really drink soda. But this is sparkling water, and it's zero calories, zero everything. So we drink this and we're obsessed. Like we have it every single night. Before we would have it like three times a week. Now it's like every single night and we don't know how to stop. Um, so yeah, it's an obsession. The yellow ones are also really good, but these are our favorites. <sighs> That's it for the haul. I'm about to put all this away and then I wanted to get on a community call that I have with like the Dream Away community. I am a part of that. So I'm gonna get on the call and just see what that's about and I'm gonna put this away and I'll vlog a little bit later. I joined a co-working session, which I had never done that before. It was kind of like 15 minutes of like concentrated work and then we would talk for a little bit and then 15 more minutes of concentrated work and then we'll talk a little bit more and it was actually super nice. I find myself like whenever I get home from work, I just feel so drained and I'm just like, I just wanna sit on the couch and scroll through TikTok for a long time, but I thought I should join just to try it out and it was actually really fun. I let myself journal a little bit more because I journaled during lunch, but I just wasn't in the very best vibes. I actually was feeling super tired, super not confident, super like yucky vibes, bloated, <laughs> frustrated, but it just helps me to do things like this um, whenever I'm feeling like that. And I pulled some cards for myself and I hadn't done that in so long. Um, and I kept journaling and I still have some more work to do before Alex gets here. Look at the set from Fabletics. I showed it in my last video, but I think it looks so cute. It's a little squirt moment with the bra, I got him in size medium and they feel really comfortable. Um, I'm glad I got a size medium. Usually I'll get a size um, small for the top and a size medium for the bottoms, but I got medium in both. It really depends on the bra style. I feel like I could have gotten a small for the bra on this one. There's some tighter ones that they have that I definitely need to get a medium, but this one I probably could have gone with a small, but I think it looks really good. Um, I'm shorter, so it's me a little bit longer in the skirt, so I like that a lot. And this is gonna be super cute because I can always wear the bra by itself and then the skirt. I feel like you can't even tell that it's a workout skirt, um, so I feel like I could even wear this with other things. And it does look a little bit sheer, like if it was just this by itself. So I'm glad it has the little shorts as well. This is dinner, lots of veggies today. These are from Costco and HB and some chicken. And 
the obsession <laughs> with some NBA. Happy Wednesday. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my favorite thrifted skirt, a thrifted blazer, and a thrifted shirt. And some yellow earrings Casey got me for my birthday like two years ago. And I'm barely wearing any makeup because I'm gonna go get my facial down today. Me apart, yeah. Doesn't matter where you are, always out creeping around, raising my alarm, yeah. Girl. So I so cold. So baby, tell me when you can't come home. Yeah, you be so like sunshine here for the day till the night time. Yeah, like what you trying to do to me? Try once or twice, never got it through to me. Yeah. back to the vlog i just got home from work and i came straight to the bed because i've been saying it every single day and i need to stop saying it because what you say becomes your reality and because i need to stop manifesting it but i am so tired and i want to be so energized but my eyes literally feel like they're closing and i want to take a nap but then it throws me off for the night time because then i don't want to fall asleep but I got a facial. I don't know with this filter thing if you can really see all the redness. But you can see some of the redness here. Some of the redness here. Um, yeah, I went to go get a facial. I went to Eternal Wellness. <laughs> Eternal Wellness in McAllen. Um, it's my second time there. Last month I got a facial and just, no, I got a facial and they cut my hair. And this time I got a facial and I did my first round of laser. I couldn't record my facial because it was dark. And I couldn't record my laser because of obvious reasons. But <laughs> it was my first time. It didn't hurt at all except for my big toe. <laughs> but that's literally um, what hurt the most out of everything. I was so shocked. And yeah, my facial, my facial hurt more because of the extractions. I have a lot of... Uh, clogged pores as she said she said you have so many she you have so many you have so many um but I actually do I have like an oily t-zone so I've been I plan on going for those monthly facials from now on and yeah it was good it was a good time to go and just like take care of yourself but now I'm like tired I have a headache and I really want to edit this video because I needed to go up by Friday because Friday it's bachelorette video time so yeah I'm excited to see my friends most of all and just like chill for the trip and yeah um today the rest of the day what's on the agenda is I'm making salmon tacos for lunch so excited and then gym and then that's pretty much it I still need a journal and write because I didn't get to this afternoon because I was doing all this so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna lay here for a while I love coming home and watching YouTube videos that's my favorite thing to do my favorite my favorite youtubers are Tati Michelle Reed and this um gossip channel this girl called Angelica something she's so dramatic but I kind of love it and um that's it hope you're enjoying the vlog thus far hello and happy thursday today was my friday because tomorrow's bachelorette trip day and i'm finally packing i have my luggage right here and i'm gonna have you pack with me they have everything laid out um i didn't buy anything for this trip the sun was like right in my face i had to close the window <clears throat> i didn't buy anything for this trip i'm just picked things from my closet and then got a few things recently um like this scarf i just came from my parents house and my dad will find me like cool things like this at the thrift shop and i actually think i'm gonna take it with me the itinerary said that we had to wear a floral outfit a black outfit and a cowboy outfit so that's what i have here picked first is this 
beautiful dress that my dad got for me. Um, I love it so much. This is literally my favorite dress ever. I took it to Mexico City and I'm taking it again because I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I already have a few pictures, really cool pictures in Mexico City with this, with this dress, but I thought I should wear it again because that's what clothes are for. Yes, I am an outfit repeater, but it's literally me as a dress and it's so flattering and I love the material. It's by the brand La Double J, made in Italy. And it's literally my favorite dress, so of course I'm going to take it with me. And this outfit, I don't know, I feel like I could either wear it for like the cowboy outfit or the floral outfit, so this is my first outfit choice. And then for cowboys outfits, I don't have any cowboy things, but I thought these boots look pretty cowboy-ish. So I'm going to take these. I don't have a cowboy hat, but I'm going to see if Alex's brother will lend me his <laughs> by tomorrow. And yes, that um, dress I can either wear with the boots or these Target heels, depending on what mood I feel like. But these are my favorite heels. It's a small heel. But it's a heel, they're from Target, and they're just nude, and they're a good shoe to have. The second outfit that I thought I could take would be like my floral outfit or my cowboy outfit. As you can tell, I'm not <laughs> super decided. I'm going to be on my period, so I'm trying to dress for the occasion in that regard. But I have this cute nude skirt from Target. I've also I've already <laughs> worn this skirt. I wore it for my anniversary and it's just a plain, nice, silky skirt. And yeah, I mean, that's really it. I don't really know how to do um, clothing reviews, but I also have this top that I thought I could wear with it. It's a Tommy Hilfiger golf top. It's like a men's shirt, but I thought it was cute because it's pink and a button up. And I thought I could tie it, I could tie it like in a little bow right here with the skirt and have it be something cute. And then wear my denim jacket over it because I feel like denim is like cowboyish. The jacket is from American Eagle. I have a really cool picture with a blonde wig in this jacket. And I've had it since I was like in high school and I begged my parents to get it for me. Because I just thought it was the prettiest thing ever and... They got it for me, so yeah, it's so pretty. I wore this throughout college, I wore this for a lot of years now, and I feel like I still don't even wear it that much. So I thought it'd be a good time to take it out of storage and wear it for this trip. The last outfit I'm going to take is my black outfit, um, which I'm assuming like Casey's gonna be in white and we're gonna be in black. So it's this three-piece set from shop 112 it's a, here a local store and i've also already worn this outfit um like i said i didn't buy anything new but it comes with a little bra top like this these pants are really long so i always have to put them like real high up like all the way up here and they're a really nice material it kind of feels like um, pajama material but it's really nice when it all comes together and then it has the little the little top it's not like a blazer it's just like a throw on but it has the one button so you can see the little bra underneath but those are my outfits um for like the activities and then i also want to take this robe i got this robe at walmart and i think it's such a pretty robe and i feel like this weekend is all about being girly so i want to wear of course this <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna take my pajamas so you guys oh my gosh that, <laughs> that you guys have seen a lot here on my youtube channel um, my friend Sumara gave me pajamas that I wear all the time so I'm gonna take that of course after I use it tonight and the scarf I just threw it on over my work outfit but I'm gonna take this scarf as a second option if I don't like the button up with the skirt which I'm already feeling like this is more of a vibe. Like the skirt with a little scarf top and then the denim over top because I love scarves as tops. 
So I'm gonna take this as well, and then I'm probably gonna take, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be working out, but I'll probably take just a little workout outfit if things go south with like stains or anything, especially with that nude skirt. I'm gonna take these black comfy stretchy shorts. Um, I wore these to the beach a few weeks ago and they looked really cute. I actually wore them with this shirt, so. I'm just gonna take these as a little backup plan and that's pretty much it for the clothes for the bags if you know me I like to carry every single little thing with me so I'm probably gonna take this big tote bag it's yellow it's leather it has these cute little flower details also a thrift find for my dad and it has angel numbers three 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 on there and it says bye vicky and i like to pretend it says bye v because it's one letter off <laughs> so i'll probably take this bag and i'll probably take my laptop with me and my camera and my ipad and my journal and my book because that's just the kind of girl that i am for perfumes i still don't know which one i'm going to take the ones that i'm using right now are the cloud by ariana and the Creme Brulee Hair and Body Mist by 144. I don't know, but this brand, if you see anything that looks like this at TJ Maxx, all of their scents smell so good. And this scent reminds me of a Victoria's Secret perfume that they used to sell like in the front. It was like not a perfume perfume, but it was like maybe this size. And it was something like angels and it was like pinky color just like this and then I remember that being like my sixth grade scent and then they discontinued it and I was so sad that this smells just like it like a super sweet sweet scent and I just had to get it and whenever I pick whenever I find things that look like this like this branding on TJ Maxx at TJ Maxx I buy it um they have an amber one that smells so so good and they they make really good gifts too because it looks so classy and then my favorite deodorant, this is my favorite deodorant, it's the only natural deodorant that, that works for me the best. I also like the Arm & Hammer one and I like the, what's it called, it starts with an H. I can't remember, but this is my favorite. I've been using, I've used um, two of this scent. And wasn't one of the blue scent, but it's great. Aluminum free, free of phthalates, parabens, prop, something <laughs> with essential oils, dermatologist tested, and recyclable. It's a biodegradable thing. <clears throat> so I think this perf this perfume, this deodorant is super worth it. And I still have to pack my makeup and like my toothbrush and like my towel. But I'm just going to do that later because that's the least interesting part of this. But I just wanted to have you pack with me. And that's probably going to be it for today's video. If I do anything fun later today, I'll make sure to include it. But I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the new subscribers. I see you. And stay tuned for the Bachelorette video content. I told my friend Brenda that I was gonna make her vlog with me so we'll see she's the funniest person I know so yeah I'm so excited and thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye Alex is having his moment of fame he's right there Alex how do you feel it's like that Spongebob episode no the corner <laughs> That's him. I'm on my guitar, the sweetest part. I met you when I could have sworn you were the one for me. The things I saw in you became my favorite things to see. Never argued, never fought, never had a second thought. I was blinded by my love, I couldn't see a single flaw. But then it came through, had to try to see a different view, had to take a look at something new. But that was hard to do. I was only Video. I was Stay tuned until next week. Bye.